It's almost April and I'm so excited for the warmer weather. It also means that I have a huge list of books for you to celebrate all those different national holidays in the month of April. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I just love to share book titles and read aloud tips that you can use in your classroom that week. Today, I wanna share with you lots of different books that you can read aloud for the month of April. Each one correlates to a different national holiday that happens during the month. Let's check all of them out. The first holiday that comes up is on April 3rd, and this is Find a Rainbow Day. And I actually have two books to share with you for Find a Rainbow Day. The first book that I have is Share Your Rainbow. And in this story, 18 different wonderful artists came together to draw different illustrations as a response to the quarantine that happened in March 2020. So this book just came out and it's an inspiring story of all the things that we're gonna get to do once life gets back to normal a little bit. So this one will resonate with your students about how life has changed over the past year and the things that we are all looking forward to. The next book that I have for Find Your Rainbow Day is Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag. This is a wonderful story that brings to life the timeline of the gay pride flag from its beginnings in San Francisco with social activist Harvey Milk all the way up to its role in the world today. It really is a remarkable true story of love and hope, equality, and most importantly, pride. So this will be a great one to share with your students during the month of April. Coming up next on April 4th is School Librarian Day, which is an amazing day to celebrate. We have Planting the Stories, the life of librarian and storyteller Pura Belpre. In this story, we learn about the amazing, influential librarian who became the first Puerto Rican librarian in New York City and how she shared her stories from her Puerto Rican homeland. This would be a wonderful book to share for School Librarian Day. The next book that I wanna share with you would work for two different holidays, which both happen to be right next to each other. On October 7th, we have Bookmobile Day, and then on October 8th is Zoo Lovers Day. The book that I have is Wild About Books. In this silly rhyming book, a librarian drives her bookmobile into the zoo by accident. But in true librarian fashion, she finds a book for each one of the animals that will perfectly suit them. I think your students will really get a kick out of this funny one. And hey, you could use this one for School Librarian Day as well. On April 15th, we have Titanic Remembrance Day in honor of the day that the Titanic sunk. I have a fairly new book, and it's called The Bravest Man in the World by Patricia Polacco. And this story is based on true historic events about bandmaster Wallace Hartley, who continued to play music to comfort the passengers of the Titanic as the ship sunk. This truly is an epic story of bravery and courage that will definitely inspire your students and help them learn a little bit more about this historical day. April is also Poetry Month, and stay tuned for next week's video because I will have lots of poetry books to share with you in that one. But also on April 17th, we have National Haiku Day. and I wanna share with you one of my favorite haiku books. It's called Dog Coo, and this one's by Andrew Clements. A stray dog finds his way to a family's home and we find out all about his day with the children and the parents and if they're actually going to let him stay in their house with them. The whole story of the dog's day told from his point of view is told in haikus, which is a really fun way to read the story and for students to listen and learn more about this type of poem. So this is a great one for National Haiku Day on April 17th. April 21st is Kindergarten Day, which would be a great thing to celebrate if your students are in kindergarten or if maybe you have preschool students who are getting ready for kindergarten in the fall. I think that The King of Kindergarten will be a great book to share with them. In this book, a young boy is getting ready for kindergarten and it's kind of a nerve wracking thing to start school for the very first time. But he's gonna be the king of kindergarten and he's up to the challenge of walking into his new kingdom full of brand new kids. This is a fun one to share for kindergarten day. Coming up next on April 25th, I have two different holidays to share with you. The first one is International Guide Dog Day. The story Rescue and Jessica would be a great book to share at this point with your students. 
In the story, Rescue is being raised as a service dog, but he's really nervous that he's not going to be able to live up to that task. Jessica, who is the author of this true story, is recovering from an accident. Rescue becomes her service dog, and the two of them work together to see what their futures hold for both of them. I think this is an important story to share with students and helping them understand what a guide dog is and how it can be helpful to people when they need it most. April 25th is also World Penguin Day. And for this one, I wanted to share the book and Tango Makes Three. This story is about two male penguins in the Central Park Zoo who raised an egg together and created a whole different type of family than the penguin world has seen before. A wonderful story to share with your students. April 29th is International Dance Day, and I wanna share another one of my favorite books. I feel like I have a lot of favorite books to share. <laughs> Do I say that about all the books that I share? This one is Giraffes Can't Dance, and as you can see, it's a well-loved book in my household as well. We have the board book, but it also comes in a paperback book as well. But Giraffes Can't Dance is about a giraffe who can't really dance. Every year in the jungle, they hold a dance competition and Gerald so badly wants to dance in it, but he's awfully clumsy and is always tripping over his own feet. But then, with a little help from a friend, he learns how to persevere and to tr always try your best at what you're doing. A book that's not only great for International Dance Day, but about persevering and growth mindset. And even though it's a silly book, it will definitely be an inspiration for your students. And rounding on the month on April 30th is Poem In Your Pocket Day. So I picked up Out of Wonder, and this book is about poems celebrating poets. Written by Kwame Alexander, there are 20 different poems celebrating 20 different poets throughout this story. So not only are there amazing poems in this story, but in each section of the book, Kwame stops to explain to it, the reader how poems come about different ways that poems are created and brought to life. So I think this is a great book to read for Poem in Your Pocket Day or any day in April when you are talking about poetry with your students. I hope that all of these books will be helpful for you and that you'll be able to share some of them with your students in the month of April. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then hit that red subscribe button down below because I come back every Sunday night with read aloud tips and book ideas for you to share in your classroom with your students. Have a great week.